We love Harmony Remote Controls here at CNET for a lot of reasons, but the most important is the innovative and extremely easy way you set them up. Now, in the past, unified remotes required punching in all kinds of complicated codes and you trying to figure out what the commands were going to do when you got it all done and it never worked right. But with a Harmony, the web figures it all out for you through a special app that does all the hard work. I'm Brian Cooley here to show you how to set up a Harmony Unified Remote. Now, before we get started, you'll need a list of all your home entertainment gear by model number. You need to be aware of what's plugged into what. You'll need an internet connected computer with either Internet Explorer, Firefox, or a Mac with Safari. No Chrome browser at this time. A USB cable is essential to hook up the remote to the computer to the web, and of course, you'll need a Harmony remote. First of all, put batteries in the remote and get it connected to your PC via a USB cable. The port's usually right here at the very front. Then go to your PC and log into MyHarmony.com, set up an account there, and get logged in. At this point, you'll be prompted to download their software. It's a one time download, it's an app of sorts that bridges your remote. To their web intelligence to get this all done. Depending on the Harmony remote you have, the app you use may be different, but the process is the same. Now, you start adding devices in the app by type, make, and model number. And it may ask you a few questions about each device and its unique characteristics. Then you set up activities that you use these devices for, how they talk to each other to watch a DVD or watch movies or watch your PVR. Answer the questions about what inputs you use, how you control audio volume, change channels, things like that. Then you get a chance to review the settings to make sure they reflect what you do and what you know about the juggling you used to do with all these remotes. Now proceed to finish, which is where the Harmony site does its magic. It programs your remote, and when that's done, you unplug it and test it. If it's not working quite right, you reconnect and use the troubleshooter, not start over again from scratch. If you add devices later or change your home entertainment setup, just reconnect the remote again, run setup, and tweak things. You don't have to blow the whole setup up and start over. And as you can gather by now, your setup information is stored not on the remote, but on Harmony's website as well, where you can call it up again. That's really nice if you ever lose or break your remote or if you upgrade to a new or different model. I'm Brian Cooley. Thanks for watching this how to.